Nicholas, S Cisco has developed a very interesting pilot project using information technology to help cities drive a green revolution. Could you tell us about it? Sure, the program that uh, uh, I'm leading is called Connected Urban Development, and it's a commitment that Cisco gave uh, two and a half years ago at the Clinton Global Initiative in New York. It is run in partnership with seven cities, San Francisco, Amsterdam, Seoul, Lisbon, Madrid, Hamburg, and Birmingham. And the jet is sho to showcase how pervasive broadband connectivity and IT can help decrease CO2 emissions in large metropolitan areas. We have now 12 active projects into this program. We go from uh, the development of smart war centers, uh, networks in the city of Amsterdam, into green ICT pilots in San Francisco in Amsterdam. We re recently launched an ECOMAP program in San Francisco. We have smart energy solutions in a European in number of European cities. And last week we launched a personal travel assistance program in South Korea. So we're using projects in the areas of transportation, buildings, energy, and uh, 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 work to basically again showcase what the power of information technology is uh, in solving the issues of our cities. Tell me about the EcoMap in San Francisco. Now the EcoMap goes back to the idea of being able to move from uh, collective awareness into collective actions of the citizens of San Francisco. Uh, many uh, citizens all over the world are able today to measure their carbon footprint. I know for example that I'm consuming two and a half planets because I travel a lot. Now, what I'm not aware about is the consequence and the measurement of the action that I take to imp improve my footprint. And this is really what EcoMap is about. We are working around the three areas, transportation, um, energy consumption, and recycling. And we're basically uh, gathering data from a number of sources in the city of San Francisco, putting them on a zip code level, providing this data on the citizens, and basically asking them to take action. We're also helping citizens to understand what the impact of their behavioral changes, but also we are brokering relationship between the citizens and the many providers of solutions, which can basically help them take an energy efficient behavior. This sounds like it has tremendous potential to help green our cities, but what are some of the obstacles to getting it wide, to getting widespread adoption? Now there's a few obstacles. First of all, uh, uh, the ownership of the data into the city are very diverse. So data that you need to run those type of services can be owned by businesses, government, or individuals. And trying to find a business model for which those data can be put together into an environment, to a public space, is usually a very difficult nut to crack. The second issue has to do with the way cities are looking into the governance of climate change initiatives for ICT. We really need to move away from the idea of uh, considering the legislative boundaries of a certain city into looking on a regional play for those cities to take actions. The other question is how do you start effectively running policy, taking into consideration not only the government perspective, but also NGOs and businesses. So we're starting to see those three groups coming together into an unprecedented move, basically trying to find a solution to climate change. And many of the policy, operational and financial perspective on how those parties work together still need to be figured out.